Indie Movie. John, turn that down now! Mother said turn it down. I thought you could be Mrs. Grady Edwards! What are you doing, Kelly? What did you say? No. Who am I here? <laughs> On the show Nip Tuck, Julian McMahon has the far more glamorous role over co-star Dylan Walsh. And as a result, McMahon has been in several movies, most notably as Doctor Doom in the Fantastic Four films. But now it's finally Walsh's turn, and he's got some big shoes to fill. The Stepfather is a remake of 1987's The Stepfather, which starred lost Terry O'Quinn. While the film wasn't very highly regarded, O'Quinn was nominated for both a Saturn and an Independent Spirit Award for his impressive performance, a sign of things to come. The Stepfather bore two sequels, the first one with O'Quinn reprising his role, and the second with Robert Whiteman sitting at the head of the table. The Stepfather movies are loosely based on real-life murderer John List, who shot and killed his mother, wife, and three children in 1971. List eluded authorities for 18 years, only to be caught thanks to America's Most Wanted in 1989. When he was found, he had remarried. This remake of The Stepfather stars another popular TV actor, Gossip Girl's Penn Bagley. While this is far from Chase Crawford's upcoming potential star-making turn in Footloose, at least he's keeping up with the rest of the pack, who all have movie deals. Now that's scary. I gotta ask, is anyone still watching Gossip Girl and Nip Tuck? Gossip Girl The College Years isn't really doing it for me, and while I DVR'd the season 6 premiere of Nip Tuck, I have yet to watch it. So have Dylan Walsh and Penn Bagley jumped ship at the right time, or are they deserting your favorite shows? Write your comments down below, and after the break we'll find out what audiences think. A thousand reasons we love food. Number 304. I would have to say because it's fun. Experience the 999 other reasons at HungryNation.tv. The Stepfather, why did you choose to see it today? Because it's a crummy rainy day in New York and it was starting at the time I needed to go to a movie. Was it a good coincidence that that's what? It was an okay coincidence. Because mm. today was a half a day and yeah. Why'd you pick this one now? <laughs> he wanted to watch it. Oh yeah, it was your choice? Yeah. Was it, it was, a good choice? It was good. I previewed it about uh, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And it looked like a pretty interesting movie. Was it? No, not really. Oh, no! <laughs> I thought it was okay. It was a good afternoon's entertainment, but if you've seen Fatal Attraction, you've seen this movie <laughs> right down to the shower scene. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, so so is Dylan Walsh any Glenn Close? Uh, no. What did you think of the guy who played the stepfather? Crazy. Yeah. Lunatic. Horrible. <laughs> He was horrible. I like him better in Nip and Tuck. Yes, yes, I watch that show, too. <laughs> yeah. You know, Although uh, the other guy's much, much hotter. We were discussing that earlier. Yeah. It's yeah. sadly true. What did you think of the son, the Penn Bagley? Did he do a nice job? Yeah, I thought that was good. He was nice? Yeah, yeah. good work. Celia Ward was on The View this morning and basically said she took it because it was work, and I think that kind of showed. <laughs> that's <laughs> Not in her performance, but that, in the role. I mean, what are you going to do with it? That's, what she, that's her publicity for the movie. Yeah. And then she's like, don't blame me. I needed money. I needed the job. The actors weren't really that good. The plot wasn't really that good. And for the most part, it, it, it really didn't have a, a real good theme. So many horror movies coming out. Jennifer's Body, all these films. How, is, how does this compare? I don't, it's up uh, there. It is up there. Yeah? It's not a rated R film, so people like our age could watch it. Do you recommend seeing this in theaters, or is it a rental? It, uh, if you're walking by and it's starting at the right time, I would recommend it, yes. Oh, good. But I think I'd rent, rent Fatal Attraction. It's worth renting. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah, but not going for the theater. What would you give it on a 1 to 10? 8. Nine. I would give it a six. About a four. So audiences give The Stepfather a 6.5, but I still don't think Celia Ward should have sold it out like that. And as you might have noticed, this month is Mogul Ween on Indie Mogul. Not only do we have special programming all month long, but we have a one-minute horror movie contest. Go here to find out how to enter, and the winner and runner-up both get free flip cams. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and you've just gone beyond the trailer. Thank <laughs> you.